Boy oh boy, what a day! SafeHS 4 is coming and it is already here on my Xperia 10 Plus device. And if you're an early access uh, user, you have access to version 4.0.1.45. And uh, the first thing that you'll notice is a new default ambience. But there's more to it. So let's get started and take a closer look into what changed in SafeHS 4.0. So as there are so many changes in SafeHS 4.0, I will start with the browser first. So the browser engine has been updated to Gecko 60, still not the newest version, but there's uh, 78, I think, in the uh, works. And what you can see here and expect from it is, of course, very fast loading times uh, and you have the ability to browse uh, newer modern websites. As you can see here, it is very fluid and fast. But the browser engine is not the only change that you can see in the browser. But there's also a change under the hamburger menu where you have now the option to go directly to your bookmarks. So you can see all your bookmarks and you have the ability to uh, edit, share, copy to clipboard, add to the app grid, which allows you to create an icon on the app grid here um, for the website. And of course, you also have the same, almost the same options for history, so you can see your history, you can delete your history, you can even clear the complete history if you want to. And there is the settings option which allows you to go directly to some interesting settings. So as you can see here, we now have the option to set up a default homepage. We can set our search engine, DuckDuckGo is here set uh, for us first, and or I set it up, could be. Uh, we can close all tabs on exit and we can enable um, JavaScript. And of course we have some privacy features just like for example do not track mode is active and you have some clear private data that you can clear if you want to and you have some permissions as well just like for example we can ask every time for our location permission so if you want to use google maps for example let's just do it and try it how see how it looks like maps.google.com by the way you can see the new animations on the keyboard so if you press here the little overlay will have now a bold font and i'll notice some improvements in terms of the haptics and the sound but let's go to maps.google.com and let's see how the dialogue looks like when it asks us for our permission uh, for the um, location so here you can see we have the option to allow the permission for using our location we can remember this for this site if we want to i think it makes sense to turn on location services of course and uh, yeah we can remember this for the site or only give this permission once just like in this case i want to allow this and uh, positioning is disabled so i think it did not find us yet but in theory this is how it looks like now in the browser and of course we have some new options as well in the browser just like for example under the uh, menu you find some options like you can go directly to the transfers so your downloads if you want to and you have the option to download this website as PDF so if I click on this here you will get like a new notification and you can see the new notifications as well as you can see here they have now a different design they look different and they work a little bit different as well as I can of course click this and it will then directly go into my transfers for example and I can see here my Google Maps PDF that will uh, allow me to open up the documents app and you can see another new feature here which is like permissions so we have like now uh, some kind of a sandboxing for applications so if you open up an application that wants certain certain permissions you have to allow and accept this on first start as I didn't open up the documents um, application yet it's asking for access for the permissions for documents downloads media index and sharing so sounds reasonable for me so i say accept here and now it has all those uh, options and it's opening up now hopefully with the pdf it's starting up and takes a while but here you can see some of the new features so there is some kind of fire jail i think implementation that uh, savages uses now for uh, this implementation documents app is not working for some reason i told you it's an early access version so uh, keep this in mind yeah then we have also like the events view that has been redesigned 
you can see not much of a difference but you can see here maybe a new uh, logo and it has notifications and you don't have any notifications right now Let's just take a screenshot so this is a new notification the new notification has the possibility to share and edit or in general you have buttons and the possibility to interact with the notification itself and you can of course click the notification to open up the screenshot in this case so it's using the uh, gallery app to open up the screenshots and here you can see the screenshot this is now not the desktop it's a screenshot as you can see here the uh, edit options as well so this is possible now with the notification and of course the notification will arrive here as well so let's take a look screenshot captured as you can see here we have some system notifications so we have now icons for the notification and we can see the notification here in a collapsed view we have also an expanded view where we also have the options that we show in the notification so if you missed a notification we still have the option to click to open up or to edit and share this file if we want to to get rid of notifications of course we can long press here we don't have a menu anymore but we have new buttons here like exit out of this uh, menu we can of course just swipe it away or we can we now have a button here for clear all notifications which will clear all notifications so this will work with various different uh, notifications as well so this is the uh, new events view redesign that you can see here so let me close all the applications here for a second and let's go into settings there you can see a new design so we now have some uh, tabs at the top that organize our um, settings a little bit so I can go to apps here for example which show all my apps so I don't have like a sub menu where I have to scroll down a little bit so here on my system I have all my system stuff and on accounts I don't want to show you my accounts but I have my accounts here so everything that was like basically down here is gone now and put into those categories it makes it a bit easier I think to find stuff and easier to go to your accounts uh, settings for example and uh, in general maybe um, something that still needs improvement it's not the optimal way but it is an improvement in um, in the general sense then there are some readability improvements with the new um, ambience there are four new ambiences so water is the default one we also have fire which looks like uh, this so a red one and we have uh, air which looks like this so it's a bit of a yellow one and we have earth which looks like this uh, noticeable also the improvement for white ambiences so let's take this neon genesis evangelion ambience here and you can see that especially the uh, contrast is way better and i like this uh, i like white themes for for some odd reason so we have very good contrast and also for notifications uh, you can see the contrast is very good here as well when it comes to android support let me go into the app launcher here and we will see this is by the way you can get this app launcher from the fdroid store which allows you to access all your android applications on your safe chess device and this is one way to go to your settings the android settings in this case and if this works out you can see this is a newer android version yes alien dalvik the android runtime for safe chess has been updated and when we go here and about phone we can see on Android version that this is Android version 9 now so no more 8.1 support but Android version 9 support is built into SafeShares 4.0 at least when it comes to the Xperia 10 plus 10 and the Xperia XA2 lineup everything older will not get any update in terms of Alien Dalvik so this is also a big improvement uh, in terms of application support of course and of course notification integration with the whole uh, system as well then there are some bug fixes in the calendar time zones for events have been fixed and uh, let's check the calendar out i think it also wants some permissions yeah so it's asking again for permissions you can see the dialogue i really would see also 
that uh, Yola will improve on this. So we have like the possibility to uh, say, okay, I don't want the account support. Or I don't want uh, to allow this app to use the sharing option or something like this. So like newer Android version have uh, for some versions already here. I have to just either accept or cancel. If I cancel, I cannot use this application. So it's a very primitive way of, um, of um, sandboxing basically. <coughs> So I think the calendar will start, I hope. Otherwise, if it is not starting, um, I can tell you that there are some WebCal uh, URL fixes in the calendar. Time zones for events are um, possible. Let's try it again. Where is the calendar? There. <coughs> there the calendar. Now it starts. So if I create a new event, I have now the possibility to set the time zone as you can see here i'm in auckland new zealand but i can set for example the time zone to united states or cook islands or whatever i want to have here for this event very important if you uh, work uh, in different time zones and don't want to mess up an appointment so this is a pretty nice many other improvements i cannot tell you all the improvements here but uh, this is the major improvement in terms of uh, this in terms of email client, not much has happened here. From a graphical aspect, the last version was, I think, the biggest change. And if I go into an email, you can see we have still this uh, button layout here, which I well, don't like so much. It's not very selfishy, but it works. And what has been fixed here is the syncing support. So if you have problems with uh, syncing, you have uh, now the possibility to have a better syncing support. I noticed that especially uh, when it comes to uh, opening up here, for example, this email and I have this email now opened up. And if I go back, this email should be, this is, I think this one should be red. Let's try this one, 1st December email. So it should change. Yes, it should, ch it changes the um, uh, email to red, which was, I think a problem where it was syncing in the background in the earlier versions where it had problems still with this. Um, VPN support has been improved, the UI has been fixed, the credentials will save uh, if you use VPN. I don't have a VPN set up I think here, but if you use a VPN uh, you have the option to save your credentials as well. Now they will open or pop up in the menu with the credentials that you have. So you don't have to type them in anymore and of course also when you use uh, the vpn and automatically want to connect on every start on every boot it works now that was a problem or issue sometimes in earlier versions then there's a new feature called qr code recognition so let me show you this it is in the camera so this is like also very interesting that we can see now uh, some uh, improvements in terms of uh, camera, which is like not very happen, uh, often happening. So I'm searching, by the way, for an example QR code that I can show you for scanning. So uh, let's see if this works somehow. We are in photo mode <coughs> now. I don't know if it is working. I don't see anything here in the menu for QR code scanning. Mystery solved. You have to go into your camera, so in your settings apps and then in your camera and then enable QR code recognition. And then you have the possibility to scan QR codes just like this one here. And uh, let me go back and let me open up the camera again. And uh, then it should like already find the QR code. You can see there's a little symbol here for QR code scanning. And if I press this, it finds the QR code and I can just go onto the website. It will open up uh, in the browser or whatever web engine I want to have. Uh, this needs improvements still. This is not a web browser and this is also not a web browser. But yeah, in general, you can get the idea. So QR code scanning works like uh, this. Then there's also something that I can show you best. I think I can show you when I create a new tweet in Peepmats. So uh, if I go in here and uh, you can see the new notifications I have, like new retweets and so on. 
if I go here and create a new tweet, what you can see here, I think you saw it already, it's a nice new animation. So in the text box that has like a forward animation as well. If I go here and say attach image and I want to attach this QR code image, say attach image. And you can see here now I have two text boxes and if I hover this, you can see this is now marked this uh, text box because it has like this highlight color. I uh, hope you can see this. Um, and if I click here, it, this is highlighted and it has a highlight color. So there's a nice little trick to this. And some other fixes have been made to the uh, keyboard in general. So text input improvements are there. I can notice some of them. One thing that I'm really not happy about is this very short uh, space bar. And I'm always hitting this, this, this dot key. So please, Yola, make it wider. So make this key smaller. We don't need them so often, especially as you can set up a space bar as dot key with double tapping on the space bar. Uh, middleware components have been updated as well and uh, many other changes in SaveJS 4.0. There's a detailed change log on the website that you can check out. MDM API for Bluetooth and email account settings and for wireless LAN networks that you can access to uh, have also been um, improved and yeah uh, in terms of calling if you get a call and it's from a landline somewhere outside of uh, your region it will show the region or the country code even or no it will not show you the country code it will show you the country someone is calling from and uh, also uh, there is better support for um, contacts and uh, address books so you have now the possibility to save uh, contacts in address books let me open up the people application you can see it's still asking for ex uh, access and don't think i have many people here uh, so as you can see here there's like uh, some uh, contacts in here and yeah i have now the possibility to select certain contacts as well but I can put contacts to a specific contact uh, book, address book. So here, save to phone or I can save it to something else uh, if I want to. So this is possible if I have like, uh, for example, Nextcloud synchronization, I can say, okay, this contact only synchronizes or should be saved in my Nextcloud address book and not anywhere else, not in the phone, for example. So this is possible here as well. And uh, what do you think about this new version? What do you think about the design changes in the notifications, for example? Here we can see multiple notifications, for example. And what happens? I can clear them all if I want to. So this is possible here. So what do you think about this redesign? Of uh, What do you think about the new, uh, uh, the new ambiences, uh, the four new ambiences and uh, the do not disturb mode that has been added? I just forgot to mention. So you now have a do not disturb mode that you can uh, put in here. You can even go to settings, uh, but you don't have the option like to uh, enable do not disturb mode here uh, when on the notification will not play or sound or feedback. I would like to have this in 4.02 or something uh, scriptable. So like I can say, okay, from 11 o'clock in the night to eight or nine o'clock in the morning, I want to have my do not disturb mode on. So it doesn't like vibrate or it doesn't produce any sounds when I'm sleeping. So this is one feature request I have. Otherwise, that's everything for this uh, video about uh, SafeSureOS uh, 4.0 and the early access version. What do you think about the new version? Do you like the new style of uh, notifications and the changes in the UI, especially the notification UI, the events view changes, the yeah, uh, the the missing pulley menu in the events menu? Uh, what do you think about this? You can post this, of course, down in the comment section, as well as some other tips and tricks or things that I missed eventually uh, on the brand new SafeSureOS 4.0. Maybe there's a feature that is very, very cool that you're excited about. So write it down in the comment section. And if you want to support my channel and my work, my work on SafeSureOS, my work on Huawei phones and on Sony phones in general, you can also do donate. I will put a link in there. So uh, a little bit of a donation helps me uh, producing more videos, buying new equipment. This microphone, for example, is a little bit broken. I need a new one. 
and uh, some other things so uh, please click the link as well that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye